Hello again, everyone. Sorry for the little break there, but I have been really busy with my new job. So, you know, my time has been pretty limited. Hopefully that's going to ease up shortly. Um, and I'll have some more time to uh, be focusing on what I want to be focusing on. And that's, that's this channel. But I wanted to do this... Um, this video, this video is really some uh, some cleanup because I've I've gotten a lot of messages from from you guys about several different issues, questions, and so I'm just going to use this video to clear some things up. As you see from the title of the video, you know what I, what I wanted to talk about first. Mandrake and Narcissist Freak and Angela's video about Mandrake and Narcissist Freak that that involved me. Um, yeah, um, Narcissist Freak did attack me on um, on phone call from a nar narcissistic mother. I guess about a year and a half, two years ago, under the name Oregon Stracy. Uh, where she basically, what Angela said was true, and if uh, that's the video, um, Don't Let a Narcissist Into Your Head, is about her. Now, I didn't know that for quite some time. It was pointed out to me that they were one and the same person. Um, one small detail in Angela's video I, um, I wanted to correct was that that she said that Narcissist Free, i.e. or against Tracy or Ted, deleted her comments um, when, when I made that video about her. And that's not accurate. Um, what had happened was, after I made that video about her, she had gotten real nasty. Real, real nasty in the comments thread. And I banned that Nick or that name, whatever you want to call it, that username from my channel, i.e. that's why the comments disappeared, that she didn't, um, she didn't delete them. I banned her from the channel. Now, in that video, I had said I didn't know if she was an arc or not, and she definitely had gone through it. On it. And that, that, that's not what I'm saying here. I bring this up, you know, for two reasons. A... Mandrake's a good guy. Okay, he's a straight shooter. He's been through a lot. Um, I couldn't even tell you the ins and outs of what happened between him and her. Okay, but I I knew once once I realized that Narcissus Free was Oregon Tracy or or, or or whomever, and I said before I I really don't watch that many other narcissism channels. You know, I I'd let it go. Because I'm not looking to cause beef. Uh, I'm not looking to trifle back and forth with other YouTubers on my channel. But this is a perfect example of what I've been talking about with my fears with social media and especially within the online narcissist, narcissist awareness community that there are people out there who are narcissists and then they will wrap themselves around the blanket of it and you know which is why I don't interact very much on my own channel in the comments thread and I have to be very careful of when I'm replying to who on whether it be on Facebook or Twitter or, or, or whatever social social media because um, I do get a lot of messages and some of them get quite frightening sometimes. Um, and it's unfortunate that I have to run the channel that way. Um, you know, it would be, it's pretty much impossible to reply to everybody at this point anyway, but it really does drive me away when, you know, you get some of the more loopier messages and people become aggressive and sometimes even attack and you know that, that's the problem you know because there are a lot of wolves in sheep's clothing on these channels and there's people 
who are narcissists themselves. And I'm not necessarily saying narcissist free is a, is a narcissist herself. Um, I know she attacked me. She attacked me over, you know, me drawing out my mother over decades or whatever it was to spark that reaction. And she said she had been tricked into being that voice. All I'm going to say is this. That voice seems pretty ready to come out at any at the drop of a dime on her own channel. Um, and that bothers me. And, you know, to go after a guy like Mandrake, who's just, he's a guy at the beginning of this process trying to figure a lot of this shit out. And, you know, we've been, a lot of us have been bullied for so long. And this is where bullying comes from. A bully's usually been bullied themselves and they have a feeling of, of not having power. And then when they have the opportunity to exert some power through bullying, a lot of times they do it. And that's, you know, it's not an indictment on her or anybody else, or that's just the reality. That's just the reality. And, you know, I appreciate Angela for, for defending Mandrake as well. You know, Angela is, you know, very passionate when she when she's like a dog with a bone when she has something she's gonna keep digging at it and you know she uses she's using it for for positive things right now so she she wanted to make a video about it she asked if she could you know you know she asked if she could basically say that Oregon Tracy was narcissist free on my channel. And if I would, you know, if, if it came to it, that if I would have, if I would confirm it for her and have her back, I told her I would, you know, I've gotten a few questions about it. So, you know, I've been meaning to, you know, I've been meaning to, to say something in Mandrake's defense for a while, but I, I've just been so, so swamped, you know, with this new job and, you know, I'm working six days a week. I'm working almost 56 hours. Sunday's my only day off. So, but, you know, I, I needed to get out of this house for a while too. So, you know, it, 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 it's a good thing, but things look like they're going to slow down soon, you know, normalize. Um, so I'll keep my fingers crossed for that. So that's, that's my take on the whole Mandrake thing. And I know Mandrake pulled a lot of his videos down and it's because he was very upset. And all I'm going to tell you this, Mandrake, you know, you cannot let people on the internet get under your skin. And that's easier said than done based on the things we've all been through in life. And it's real easy to shut down. And believe me, I've shut down quite a few times. It's a battle. In my head, it's a battle in everyone's head. But regardless, I mean, even if we got into an argument, you know, I'm another voice on the internet. It's not something, you know, you got to keep pushing and keep doing what you're doing. If you believe in what you're doing and, and it's helping you and it's helping other people, which your channel clearly is, then you need to keep going, going forward with it. Um, you know, and that's why I've gotten some questions like, well, you know, it seems like in your playlist, you're posting some other people's videos now. And I do. And if I see somebody starting a new channel and they got, you know, some good content, I'm, I'm going to put them in my playlist for, you know, hopefully uh, up their views and get them some subscribers because the more legitimate people talking about it, you know, the better off. And the more of us sharing stories back and forth, the bigger this is going to grow. And the easier it is going to be for us to weed out who the problem YouTubers are. So that's my take on Mandrake. Now, the one of the other questions I have been receiving um, is people want my take on this Nicole Arbor and Matthew Karen Santoro. Matthew Santoro thing on, on on the internet, you know, is he a narcissist, is she a narcissist, back and forth, back and forth. I don't know. 
I'm not there. I don't know them. Okay. I'll tell you what bothers me on both ends. Number one, okay, as far as he's concerned, the video was edited. That's why I, I don't like editing. I don't edit. You know, when you're editing things in and out, you know, you're doing it for something like that, in my opinion, needs to be raw mode, you know, raw, you know, from from the heart, not something you're going to edit together. You know, the the cuts and bruises basically need to be be in on it. OK. And. You know, anybody who's watched my channel knows I am a huge proponent of men's rights. I say, you know, women get away with a lot of bullshit, um, you know, which, which they clearly do. But, but, there is a reality to the society we live in, and there is a difference between men and women, okay? And I hate to say it, Okay, because it might sound sexist, and but it, it, it's reality. That dude cried like a bitch. I mean, we all have emotional breaks and breakdown and all that. But for him to be bawling on cam for 10 straight minutes because he hit her once, or she hit him once, you know, it, it it's another, and I don't know, it, it, it could be real. The edits bother me, you know, as a man to sit there for 10 straight minutes. Listen, I could go into the deepest, darkest stuff, you know, what's happened to me, you know, or what's going on with Aaron and things that is just heartbreaking. That does bring, will, will bring me to tears, but I'm not going to sit there for 10 straight minutes and bawl my eyes out. I can't. I can't. As far as she's concerned as well, she could be a narcissist too. I mean, she's very da 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 da, da, da. There, I, the, People have shown me some response videos of people breaking down other things she says. Here's the long and the short of it, though. These are just two entertainment people on the internet. She makes funny videos. He does some funny videos. I've never really saw his channel, even though her ch his channel's bigger than hers. I've seen her channel. You know, she does some funny stuff. Okay, she could full well, he could full well be telling the truth that this incident happened. And I, I bet it did. Okay, but for him to be coming out all broken like, and bawling his eyes out and editing the video that's 10, 11 minutes long, it's a bit much and it seems like it's being pushed for views as as she is too um you know these are two very 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 large channels um they have a lot of subscribers i think he has like a million and a half and she has over 200,000 but at the end of the day we shouldn't be worried about what some pseudo celebrities whether he's an arc or she's an arc Okay, because we get off the main focus of our own lives. Okay? Those guys, I don't want to say they don't live in reality because they're not mega stars or anything. I'm sure they do with a million and a half subscribers. And so I'm sure they can sustain themselves off their YouTube, off their YouTube hips, their YouTube views. I know she does some stand-up comedy as well. But this is like almost like weird celebrity worship. And most of the people talking on the internet are are, are are normal like you. And when we try to get into, you know, celebrities, and I'll pick a part of celebrity where I think it's warranted, you know, here and there and here and there. But don't, but be careful, you know, to try not to prove everyone's a narc or everyone, what's going on with this or what's going on with that. Because Matthew Santoro and Nicole Arbor, whether they're, which one's a narcissist, whether it happened or not, in reality, isn't going to affect my life, your life, anybody's life but themselves. What it has done is gotten them some pretty creative view, uh, uh, drawn a lot of drama, a lot of attention, and a lot more views. And I'm not saying that that was, that that was the intent of the whole thing. 
could have been a contributing factor. They're not, to me, I mean, they're not, to me, anything to worry about because they're not affecting Matthew Santora and Nicole Arbor isn't harassing any one of us. We all have enough real narcs in our own personal lives where we don't necessarily need to be seeking out um, pseudo-celebrities on YouTube. And that's not to say that they're not popular or any... That's not an indictment on either one of their channels. Um... I just don't know, and to be very honest, like, I, I just can't get myself to care enough about it, you know, to get emotionally invested in those two. Okay, it's different, like, if I post, like, I talked about a Dr. Phil show or some kind of show where it's a larger societal problem where, where they're talking about the family court or talking about, you know, lies being told on a father and, you know, because that's being pumped out by media to, you know, to an audience, with, and, and it's completely wrong. These are just people on the Internet, you know, their own entities with their own, with their own YouTube channel having a bitch fight over who broke up with who. Doesn't really matter. So I'm not saying he's lying. I'm not saying she's lying. I think they're probably both a little full of shit. Um... Him with his, you know, with the 10 minutes of bawling, okay, yeah, he was probably really bothered by it and pissed off about it. But for him to sit there and bawl for in an 11 minute video straight to bawl about it, I'm like, all right, like, I know when you're trying to garner sympathy and trying to embellish a story a little bit. Her, on the other hand, I mean, there's been some pretty damning evidence from other videos she had posted and taken down that who said what to who, but it, it doesn't matter. Like, I'm not going to give you a point, but I can't give you a point by point breakdown analysis of the entire situation. It's just not worth it. And really it just, to me, it distracts me. It distracts you guys from your real goal. And that's healing yourself. You're not going to do that through Nicole Arbor or Matthew Santoro, Santoro, whatever his name is. Um, the last, the last, uh, issue that a, a bunch of people and ha, have asked me to comment on or try to look into after my video, um, uh, use what you know, where I talked about medical marijuana and, you know, its uses. Um, I, I've gotten some requests from. A community about this guy Mark Emery who's basically they call him the Prince of Pot up in up in Canada he did like five years in a penitentiary where people wanted me to call him a narcissist and say this guy's a narcissist and and you know the followers of mine with who have dealt with him who have a certain feeling towards him but I can't find any real information either way. I mean, there's a Facebook page that's opinion. That's their opinion. There's a YouTube video of uh, one of his ex's letters. or But I can't confirm any of it. And I don't know enough about the guy to say, yeah, he is. No, he isn't. And, you know, and it's unfortunate because this is a situation where they're saying he hurt these people personally and he hurt this community personally. Um, but I can't really find any type of real information to, to make, a, make a decision on that either way. He certainly displays some characteristics, but you got to remember, he's a public figure. So all public figures can have some grandiosity about them that, you know, bleeds into narcissism as well. Um, he has been in the media uh, quite a bit because he did do like five years in federal penitentiary in the United States. But this is something that's very personal to these people that he, I guess, somehow, you know, screwed these, these quote unquote patients over and he's not who he says he is. I can't just sit here and just say, yeah, he's a narc. Yeah, he's a, even if somebody's want is offering a donation or a contribution to the to the channel because I'm I'm not I'm just not comfortable with it. 
I'm, I'm just not comfortable. I'm not, I can't feel like I'm going to be a hired assassin. You know, I, I know this is important to these people because, you know, I've gotten several messages about them over and over, you know, several messages from them repeatedly, and I'm not saying they're harassing me or anything. So, and I've been busy, and I feel bad because I know they feel like they've been slighted and they've been hurt. I mean, if somebody can just lead me to something that I can look at and maybe, maybe get a better idea. Because everything I'm finding is like basically an opinion this way, an opinion that way. Um, it, it, it's different than somebody just when they send me their story and I read it and I just give you the analysis of your, like what, what I think about your story, what I think about what, what's going on. This is something that I'm going to have to research on my own. Like I said, there's like a Stop Mark Emery or Expose Mark Emery Facebook page. But it really, it's just full of a lot of, like, a lot of memes of, you know, like, Mark Emery's a douche, does it, you know. I can't, I can't really use that. And I can't feel like I'm going to say this guy is something that I, 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 I in my heart of heart, I don't know. I'm not saying he is, I'm not saying he isn't. I'm saying I just don't know, and I can't just, I that because that's something a narcissist would do. They would do it for the money. They would do it, you know, for the maybe the subscriber views, for the for the for the channel activity, you know, for the hits on your ads or whatever whatever it is. I mean, that's really a lot. Of what's going on with Nicole Arbor and that's because their channels are getting are getting are getting nailed, you know, with views and they get a lot of views anyway. But they're raking in on the ad on the ad revenue while and I'm. I'm not saying like that makes them bad people or anything because I have ads on my channel as well. Okay, but you, these are things you got to take with a grain of salt. So, as far as Mark Emery goes, I will say this: I have seen documentaries about where he's been in on on um, on Netflix, and I've heard like Joe Rogan's opinion of him. I've heard a couple other people on Joe Rogan's podcast say the guy's a complete psychopath and a douche. That's the one thing that that is a consensus with him. That anybody's met him says he's completely out of his freaking mind. Now that doesn't necessarily mean he's a narcissist or he's not. I just don't know. I don't know him. And you know, I'm down in South Florida. This guy's up in I think British Columbia, Canada. So, and that's where a lot of these requests are coming from out of Canada. So, I, I just don't know. So, I wish I could give you a better answer on that. But if you have some other, you know, information that, that I could look at and maybe, maybe get into, you know, I, I'll, I'll readdress it. But as of now, I mean, I just don't know. And I can't just feel like a hired gun to just call people narcissists. You know, ju just for the sake of it. Okay. Finally, um, I have a bunch of videos to make from contributions for the, from the PayPal. So I'm going to be getting to that. You know, I'm going to try to do a couple tonight. I'm going to do at least one more tonight. Hopefully, I can get out of work a little early tomorrow and 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 make make the rest of them but i thank you for your patience nobody's really been um haunting me about it or anything um so i'm gonna end this video here sorry for the absence once again but you know the link to my facebook is in is in the description box um i usually accept every friend request I, it's very difficult for me to answer on messenger Okay, because a lot of times I got to turn the messenger off because it just goes off constantly. It's just ding, 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 and it goes off constantly. And, you know, I can't have the thing going off just constantly, and it's impossible to answer. Everybody. So, once again, thank you, everybody, for watching. Um, again, the PayPal link is in the description box below. So, if you do enjoy this channel, please consider making a contribution to the PayPal link. And remember, a donation of any amount to the PayPal link. And you want your story read on the channel, 
you go right to the top of the list, even though that list, that list is long, but you know, you go right to the top and when I can get to it, it's my early, as soon as I can, I'll make you the video. And again, we still have the option to do phone calls or a Skype call as well. This is Ollie Matthews. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all again shortly.